Sega. So, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Is a mind Lieutenant Rakir at your service. 
who is currently in some discount Terminator armor. <laughs> and welcome back to Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where we will be continuing with the Space Marines. So, let's get the loading that up. Uh, okay, now it's just now it's just filling. <clears throat> now it's just forming two full pages of this. Uh, yeah, the armored dude. <laughs> At least I gave it a good name to keep it apart. Yeah, it, <laughs> yeah and also it does say when you lost played it. True. Again, I, after this stream, I'm going to look if I can just delete some old ones there to clean it up some. But yeah, last time we got started with the Armadies and the crew. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a motley bunch. We have Cyrus again. We have Martellus because he is not the cannon trader in Chaos Rising. We have the Armadies and a new face, the Ancient, who is our current heavy weapons guy. <clears throat> Let's see. And a badass. <laughs> okay. We gave the Omedes the jump pack. Let's see. I think I've already read this. Which, well, seeing his ears already our melee tank slash attacker, he, that, this should help him get into the combat more quickly, whilst the rest remains melee, no, not melee, but ranged. With Martellus being our bombardier, with the flamethrower as well, the ancients are heavy weapons. And Cyrus is, well, Cyrus. <laughs> oh dear. There we don't have as many explosives for him to work around with this time. Okay. Let's see. Last time we got to Meridian. Priority box channel Secundus. Lord Ascendant, I lead the faithful assaulting capital spire. I am pleased to report that the spire's defenders have fallen. They were unprepared for an attack from within. We shall hold the spire and await your transmission bearing further instructions. Glory to the Ascendant! Glory to Korn! This is the opening we need. If we journey to Meridian, we can intercept this Ascendant's Vox communications and expose his identity. Okay, storm the barricades and armored fist. Heavy use of armored vehicles and expert in static defense. Luckily, we have a good amount of heavy weaponry ourselves. Though we we have we have it less than uh, when we lo when we came through here with the orcs. But yeah, that's just uh, yeah. differences in faction and just the plain gear drops that we've gotten. Yeah, reminds me. Did you check? We did get XP from. Uh for uh, okay, Cyrus. Assailants, Cyrus. push them back. Do not let them gain a foothold on the spire. Yes, he did get experience, even though he wasn't on the field himself. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, it would be slightly annoying. Or otherwise, mm -hmm. it would be one who's heavily the piece of should they bring him or a team. If you're doing yeah. too much, you'd be under level and, you know, all that <laughs> in the debate. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yes. Pull back that Lehman Russ and regroup. Fourth and 17th. I want an assault line of pain wolves pressing this position. Okay, yeah, okay. Smart enough to pull back the armor, but not uh, the troops. Yeah, that's the Imperial Guard way. Okay. Okay, I was going to say Martellus cleared that out, but the Ancient already brought it down. You give them a surprise. Yeah, this should make things a lot easier for getting him into combat with things. Okay. Yeah, he being a jumper, but just... Jumping. Open a box with air support and stand by. If they encroach the HQ, I want the sky to fall on them. Right, what I see is just jumping alone is an advantage. Yeah, since he can disrupt them on landing or get behind some troops or just punch down on some suppressive fire. Which is something that we've been having more uh, more difficulty with as this group since they don't have a dedicated jumper well you could make the ancient a jumper but it's either that or 
guy. He, he can be very specialized, but he's a bit harder to uh, multi uh, to multi train. Yeah, he's not a jack of all trades. He is a specialist. Yeah, he can be a he can be made into somewhat of a jack of all trades, but that he is stronger if he gets trained into one thing specifically. Yeah. Okay, Cyrus. Okay, it does allow us to change out our tactics and gameplay for each miss mission. Hmm. Yeah, it's more how we, can, how we can be trained to be different things. Okay, I meant in general, the whole gameplay. Yeah, but he'd be weaker at it if we don't train him for it. You also pull back. Okay, yeah. As the orcs, we could just break through here rather easily, but we don't have the numbers to do that here as this team. So we'll have to pull back for a bit, let them stretch their line out, and deal with them. Okay. Yeah, as, the, as it said, they are experts in static defense, so we'll have to get rid of that. That tank is not getting pulled out. So, Ancient, you go deal with that. Cyrus, you are, your jump is on cooldown, or we're just not enough. Martel, let's clear that out. Why are you going for that? Oh well. Cyrus, support. Oh, I forgot to send him forwards. <laughs> But, yeah, if at first you don't succeed, pull back, assess, and try again. Yeah, Cyrus at the moment isn't too, uh, isn't too useful, like he's an ex extremely powerful sniper, but we're dealing against a big bunch around here. So he is less useful in that way. He is, however, good at taking those out, and I accidentally activated his lightning reflexes instead. Oh, well, well. <laughs> okay, that, that just puts slow-mo on everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, my teller is deal with that. He's kinda useful for easier sniping. Yeah, especially when there's a priority target like that. Martellus. Okay. Why did you throw a grenade when the enemy just jumped towards them? <laughs> to make sure. He got exploded. <laughs> Not them. Well, I, I think at this point the Amadeus is used to it. <laughs> Ancient. Martellus. Danger close. I think we're being wanted. Okay, now this is going to start again. Once we get some good alternative equipment to the engine's uh, rocket launcher, like a heavy bolt or such, we definitely should keep one for when we have a mission where a rocket launcher may not be needed. True. But with the Imperial Guard, we're going to be facing armor all the same. Oh, yeah. And the men for the I don't missions. think... Yeah, we, we have Martellus with the melt bomb here. Yeah. Ow. But beyond that, I don't think we have too much anti-armor. So putting the missile launcher away might actually be a, a mistake on that. Yeah. Again, I meant... For the specific missions where it would be needed, uh, it's specifically need to use it for most of the missions. Okay. Now, if if the missiles with power axe had vehicle stun on it as a trait, then it would be a lot more. Yeah, then we would lot. Yeah, we have we would have a lot more leeway in uh, lessening our anti-armor ability since he could just get to it keep the vehicles busy, and just tear them apart. Yeah. 
Mm. Uh, now I would not be surprised if you find a, such an absurd. Silent. Anyways, right. to make up for some of our weaknesses in anti-vehicle, let's bring in some vehicles of our own. More specifically, let's try two tanks, and we don't have the energy for a dreadnought. Okay, there were some boxes that we've missed. Okay, what are they trying to do? With, <laughs> were they trying to do an Arnold accent there? I'm sure I was only able to hear that. Hmm, no, I was... Not as strong as I thought it'd be. Okay. Uh, we don't have any upgrades for you. Hopefully, we can upgrade some uh, later points. There's one that we missed. Uh, of course, it's energy, and of course, it's not enough to actually get more. <laughs> okay. Push forwards. These two are more of the anti vehicle designation or configuration at the moment, but I do believe there is an upgrade that we can get to make them more anti vehicle based. Yeah. Oh, I started this like dispensation. Okay. Astartes Dispensation. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. Okay. Yep. Turn around, you two dumbasses. Some people remember. I think you heard some people... Well, they lovely these... They're the old question why they have those side cannons. Uh, old uh, World War One tanks also had side cannons. Oh, yeah. No, those were smaller, they had uh, people manning them. But I could see this happen again with more... Uh, with more tech, it sends... You see how you put person by the cannon? You had them by monitor hearing the cannon. And uh, okay, those, I wasn't paying the enough attention. Had basically a single shot, more like. Uh, so what do you say? Yeah, I wasn't paying. I was paying too much attention to the predator tanks and make, trying to get them to maneuver. And now oh, our team is down. Oh dear. Uh, right, that was a. All right, yeah. The one ones basically was just extra turrets, but no, they were not machine guns. Yeah. These ones are kinda heavy machine guns. <laughs> Okay, Martellus, clear that out. Okay, we lost one of our tanks, but we can get a new one. I guess in one way you could say that this game goes very easy on the player. With how it refunds you for most. Oh, gosh. I hope that, that doesn't mean that if you play a normal or hard, or harder, you go get less and less for no refund. Now, I think in, I think in all difficulties it will do the refund anyways. Martellus. Right. Uh, we lost the tank. Hmm. Take down an Ogren. Uh, <laughs> why, why does this guy have it out for Cyrus? <laughs> okay. Time to take these out. Vengeance rounds. And up. Okay, I probably, uh, I probably should have focused down one of the tanks instead of spreading. Wait, when did Cyrus get down? Okay, they want to look at these tanks, they want to realize, yeah, it's not a 
thing to push the city by the turn and turn them around. It's mechanized. Valkyrie oh. is hot and on approach. Valkyrie is whatever the term is you need to use a computer or something to steer them. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, there's definitely a whole crew in each of these. Oh yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, the predators can keep them down. Why are you going there? Pick Martellus off, you idiots. But oh, yeah, again, I, hmm? if we mastered more technology, to, we could uh, see tanks like this return, but only if there's a need for it. <laughs> like, let's be honest, for the cake, it has this. Expecting. Relaying now. Priority Vox Channel Secondus. This is the Ascendant, Azariah Kairos. Disregard previous men. Stand down. Marvelously done, Sergeant. Your slaughter of your own brothers in arms shall bring much favor from Korn. Without its center of administration, Meridian is as helpless as a babe set upon by wolves. Remain stationed there and repel any invaders. Your reward for your faith shall be forthcoming. Skulls to Korn. Help us, Lucar. Oh, well, that should help uh, clear any doubts. Also, I forgot that the other thing was the one that was behind the uh, <laughs> was behind the airstrike. So we kind of shortcutted that a bit. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? All right. These tanks, if you have seen for the K, makes sense in 40k. For that, they fight so many things that you kind of need extra guns in that matter. Yeah. I see what you need, and it works. Oh, okay, it's an upgrade for tactical marines. Then we have vengeance rounds, increased effectiveness versus vehicles, increased effectiveness versus buildings. Employing unstable flux core technology, these bolts are effective against armored targets. And then we have a blessed chainsword, a close combat weapon of choice among the Adeptus Astartes. The chainsword's monumental and clear blades slice through most targets, and its silhouette is the symbol of the Imperium. Effective, yeah, effective against infantry and lightly armored enemies. Okay, well, that should give uh, Diomedes all the evidence he needs to be convinced, hopefully. Yeah, and also we got... Did we seriously get a free upgrade for the tactical marines? Yep. No. Nice. Let's see. Shadow scale, permanent infiltration, no level requirement. Space marines in service of the Death Watch are sometimes granted armor such as this, crafted from light-absorbing nanofibers and compressed ceramide plates. A few things can hide a towering space marine, and it is said that this very rare mark of Death Watch armor carries it with a concealing aura. Okay, that's that sounds real good, actually. Yeah. I gotta go and grab my some, I say some sandwiches. What, what, what the heck should we grab? Space Marine Dreadnought. So I sold my squad. Oh, bloody heck. Oh, extra hit. Mm. Good options here. Wait, gotta grab my sandwiches. Let's right see. We, we need to take the Dark uh, Age of Technology upgrade if we want to equip uh, Dreadnoughts with, uh, melt, uh, with multi melters. Hmm, the assault marines have that upgrade, and then one more, probably to get a sergeant. But just permanent infiltration. That just sounds absolutely perfect for Cyrus, so... I think I'll... I think I will take this one. So, yep. I trust you have your answer, Diomedes. All these centuries, these years of lies... Kairos. Kairos's signal originated from Typhon. Before we act, we should contact Inquisitor Adrastia and combine our forces. No. She will want more proof before she acts. We go to Typhon alone. I will confront Kairos myself. 
Okay. Well, first off, Cyrus gets his new armor, which doesn't look too much different. It has a little plate on the shoulder. Probably that Death Watch symbol, I'm guessing. And let's see, Diomedes has a level. Let's see. I think I'll put that point into Vengeance. And let's see, does this do more damage? It attacks the same speeds, the same accuracy, but less damage. Hmm. Mortellus. Let's keep working towards that <laughs> Dreadnought drop pods. And the Ancients. Yeah, let's put that in stamina. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Beyond that, yeah, we have a this bolter here, but it needs another level before anyone can use that. And hmm. let's see. Nothing really else that we can equip anyone with. We can get the the tactical marines upgrades. Which what exactly is that? Not oh, right, the flamethrowers. Then they can. Next one for them is a missile launcher, and the last one is a plasma gun and sergeant. Okay. And yeah, as I thought, assault marines get sergeants as well. Okay. Let's see. Grants the vengeance rounds ability that deals additional damage, but no suppression damage. Okay. Can also do light damage to vehicles. And yeah, multi melter. Let's see, the Predator Tanks, Enhanced Armor for more health, and the last cannon is their second upgrade. Okay. Hmm. Anyways, let's give a moment for Drakir to return, and then we'll look at the next mission. Let's see. Th oh, Thunder Hammer for Dermides, if we trade this in, a Bolter for the Ancient, Melta Gun for Martellus, and a Flamer for Cyrus. Uh, Cyrus we want to keep at the distance, so that's a no. Uh, we already have a Melta. <clears throat> and Martellus is using a Flamer anyways to round him out more from just being anti-vehicle. Though we could swap him over back to that, then, then again, that would make him a bit too focused. I think. Hmm. So I'm thinking I will actually turn this one in for the Thunder Hammer because that might have, or that should have vehicles done. Let's see. A chance on hit to disable vehicle. It doesn't actually say how much of a chance, but still. Okay, the Falling Star. Hmm. Yeah, that, that should help us with vehicles a lot more now. Uh, let's see, anti-vehicle and anti-tank, just anti-vehicle, though he does have those crack missiles, or frag missiles, which I haven't really used too much, probably should use it more. And Cyrus is our dedicated sniper. And let's see, everyone's armor is better than this, pretty sure of that, 36, 18, yep, so that can be turned in. Let's see, sort these out a bit. And since Rakir should be hearing this all the same, let's at least listen to the next optional debrief. Commander, this Vox suggests stolen Imperial Archaeotech. Recovering it would benefit our cause. We found a power station, boss. Should give us the juice we need to finish her up. And why is you here telling me about it? I told you to find them and to guard them. Even if the Humies don't come to take them back, someone else might come nick them. We're supposed to just sit on them power nodes and hope a scrap comes to us? Where's the fun in that? We only need them nodes long enough to finish building Daisy. That is when the fun begins. <laughs> Alright, this mission again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I, 
Chat difficulties opening the damn lip paste box. <laughs> they have a new lid design. Okay. Looks like a fire came to us after all. Oh, well, keep him off the power notes. Daisy ain't ready yet. Death to his enemies all. Okay, we already know how this is going to go. We just need to capture the nodes and deal with the orcs. Okay. Yeah, I should have saved that grenade for that, but okay. But yeah, Cyrus now has his permanent infiltration. Which even works when he's when he's firing, so that's also good. Okay, Martellus, go deal with that. Darmides, Armor of Courage. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. Let's grab this point and then actually go for this node first. So then we can just go one, two, um, three, and four. Ready, ready. Okay. Yeah, this shouldn't be too hard. It... Ow. Yeah, that's what that guy <laughs> meant that you missed. Yeah. Okay. At least it was just a small group, but yeah, like I was saying, we'll go one, two, three, and four. For Daisy, we don't actually need too much anti-vehicle, since most of the damage will come from luring them into uh, the, <clears throat> into the explosives. And okay, the map makes it look like there's supposed to be a, a bridge here, but there's just not. Okay. I am on the move. Yes, yes, don't miss me yet. I keep pressing this one because the, the frag missile was that one first. Smoke grenade pack. Okay, I'm pretty sure some. I'm pretty sure the equipment drops. Are always going to be in a mission. Good. Bump the mic, sorry. Okay. There it is. Go help those quick. Okay. Uh, Cyrus, can you get over here and annoy this bunker for a bit? It's hammer time. Okay, he can't. Okay. Okay, Cyrus got a level. Okay. Just a distraction, then we'll move on. Okay, I think that one work got got angry at calling and being called a distraction. Okay. Okay, clear those out, please. And this would actually be the perfect little spot for. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Drop a grenade or drop a frag missile in that group, please. Okay, that was actually a perfect shot. An ancient flamer. Okay. You got a little flamethrowers. Okay, there's a lot of them here. Let's pull back a bit. Oh, right, right, of course. Destroy that. That's not for us to capture. 
Orders are stomping. Okay. Cyrus, take out the suppressor. There we go. Just wear them down. And we'll get through. Alright. What's the... What's special with the hammer? It deals extra damage against vehicles. Oh. And it has a chance to disable vehicles. <laughs> so it doesn't say how much of a chance. Mattel is getting juggled. It. I called it! I bloody called it! But it was not an axe, but still a weapon that can... A weapon that can surpass Metal Gear? No, I meant to whip a miller but I can handle vehicles. As I mentioned that in the last mission. That the only you're, you're supposed to mention that we're gonna probably get a weapon like that. And what you do? You did. Yep. Cyrus, keep firing. Thank you. <clears throat> you go deal, deal with that. Okay. The agent being an idiot again with that. Yep, no. Don't forget the boxes. Yeah, and we should not forget some reinforcements either. Yeah. Can I want to remind you about the boxes? You need to buy the enforcement somehow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, some Terminators. And let's see, we can get Tactical Marines with Flamethrowers now. So that might also work. An Assault Squad probably as well. And what is this here? Kraken Bolts. Okay. <laughs> Ow, direct hit. On my way. Not. There are still okay. Martellus, pick those up. You collect that. Yeah, because the flamethrower is a multi-hit weapon, it breaks them both. Boys, get in there and take that note back. Advance. Okay. Let's see, I don't think we can get another squad. Nope. Okay, Terminators up there. Okay. Remedies, deal with that. You actually build up some of your turrets. Ancients. Yeah, we have a lot more t trouble dealing with them this time, huh? Because we just do not have as many numbers. Yeah. What? What? We're much bigger than the Space Marines. Let's see. If we try and build another turret, will this one break? Or can we just have multiple? Hey, bro. Okay, so it is only one turret at a time. Okay, one of the turret... One of the... Yep, one of the generators is likely going to get busted, but we still have the other one. Okay, one more minute. Ready for assault. Cyrus, take that one out. Okay, let's push our line forwards a little bit. Ancient, far more. Okay. 
Okay. You boys ain't got that no back yet. Fine, clear off. We just used the juice from the others to finish up. Okay, almost lost our tactical and the assault squads. But after we take this point, we should be able to just heal them up. Oop. Cyrus, pick that one out. Or I can just tell them to fall back for the moment. Yep, right up. I forgot that this was here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's get some Devastator Marines. We are a bit lacking in suppression fire. Yeah, but what do you think we unlock for the technical Marines? Uh, Flamethrowers was the uh, first one. Nice! You lot pull back still. There was some flamethrower technical uh, squad would probably be useful when we face the two mids. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Ancient there. Cyrus. Take out Suppressor Fire. Martellus. <laughs> oh, it actually didn't take it out. Okay. There we go. Okay. Mar Martellus seems you're there all the same. Okay, I got some of this in them. Okay. Cyrus, capture that, please. And yeah, Martellus can just power wash the buildings with flame. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Very... Alright, then he just sets you to autofill. I forgot about that. There we go. Okay, now catch up with the rest. Do we have the resources for some vehicles? Let's see. Not enough for a tank, but we can still get a... Really? <laughs> Seven... <laughs> Seven off. Okay, why even show... Oh, do we also have the population limit? So why the heck is this one the only one that's high, that's clear? Yeah. Weird. Also, I feel like we all have this issue with this space marines. And not, I don't think we ever had this issue with the orcs. Hmm. Not sure, but this is a game that they had not too much time on, and they had six factions to work out, so... I would not be surprised at all if it's revealed that there are still some bugs around. And I'm not talking about the Tyranids. You have Captain Di I am on the Stay way. Stay you really can't call a Tyranid bug, for it's truly alien. <laughs> True. Nice regular classification. <laughs> But it's still the closest thing at the moment. Okay. Priority targets. Okay, okay. a small little detail, but with the Force Commander uh, of of the uh, base game from Dawn of War 2. Whenever he would use Battle Cry, he would also break suppression on his units. But the Omidis doesn't, so I'm guessing that could be seen as a bit of a slight on the Omidis' leadership abilities. Maybe. That probably was a bad idea. Okay. Everyone has their targets. Okay. Yeah, I probably could have planned that fight out better, but oh well. 
Let's see, I think they were mostly coming from here. So you lots aim that way. Cyrus next to them. Terminators forwards. The Almady is up the front. Ancient pull back a little bit. You lots wait. Actually, you lot go capture it. Martellus. There. And tactical. You go with the other flamer. It's just greedy, that is. Oh, I'm sending in the big dagger to take it back. I shall arrive soon. Okay, I don't remember too many attacking from here, but we can probably expect Incoming. some jump troops from there. You have Incoming! <laughs> okay, what caused an explosion then? Is Damn it, since there was wrong. I don't know what the explosion means, but I just had a random light spike on my hand. Yeah, something at Yomi's feet exploded. And I thought it was the frag missile for a second, but no, the, the ancient fired up later. Alright. And yeah, this is a lot easier now that we have some suppression fire troops. I should put it in this. Games like this rarely lag or have the yellow dot in corner from Discord uh, when we stream these. For this, usually run just fine. True. One of our generators is under attack. Okay. You and the tacticals go sit over here, and deal with any sneakies, because this place is covered plenty. <laughs> Terminators, Devastators, and the Omidies. Hello, oh, do you smell that heal? What, napalm in the morning? That and rows of mushrooms. <laughs> oh, hello, how did you get over there? Uh, ancient focus to bigger targets. Yeah, that, that doesn't do much against vehicles. Okay, and we got Soundstrike Pattern Plasma Cannon, okay. Actually pull back. We still ain't got the power now back. Boys, leg it back to Daisy Sharpish. Kick these thieving magpies off the last note. <laughs> destroyed. Okay, those two are running back to the headquarters. To reinforce your brothers. We get some uh, tanks or dreadnoughts. Oh, okay, I see. This, this isn't as cut off as I thought it was. Okay, we can see about getting some of those. But before that, we go look for the weird boy. Let's see. The Predator, and that's it. <laughs> okay, we'd have to need, we'd have to wait for one of the teams to fall. There's some over here as well, actually. You left behind. Uh, what? There you go. And now they're walking. Yeah, they, they, I, I told them to retreat back to there. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Yes. Now I see. Now I see. <laughs> 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 is just picking him off. Uh, um, <laughs> okay, it was just complete uh, stiff as he flew out the building. Uh, I think we just one fell into the pit. <laughs> Green skin kill. Okay, there's a little sound like he's re-stealthing each time after each shot or so. Okay, how close can you get? <laughs> he's just being a little pissant from the distance. I feel like we finally have a u proper use for Cyrus. Like, he has been using it before, but... Nope. 
this prop we use to is almost cheating in a way. <laughs> yeah, would Cyrus really be the one to play quote unquote fair? True. But you do what I mean. Okay, <laughs> I had a bit of a detour. Then again, it makes sense that the Predator wouldn't be able... To, yeah, they definitely wouldn't be able to go up this, so they're trying to go the long way. Just drive over the orcs! Just drive over them! There we go. No. Wait, you can? No, I think it shot him just before. <laughs> okay, you oh. head over there. Chapter Battle Standard, okay. Nope, Martellus. Actually, Ancient. Uh, pull oh. back from that. Oh dear. Yep, and there we go. Okay. Ancient Purity Seal, okay. And let's see. There, now everyone push to there. The tank will get, no, the Cyrus will get there first. Followed by the tank. Okay. Hmm. We lost some capacity there because I, th uh, yeah, we lost the squad, I think. We lost the, yeah, we, we lost the assault marines. So let's bring at least one of them back in a walking coffin. Uh, we still have space for more, I think. Let's see, one more squad. But seeing as we'll be facing Daisy, that shouldn't uh, that shouldn't do too much. Since Daisy is more of a puzzle boss. Yeah, but they do have ads. True. Let's see. We can actually get a razor back and put that on the side for re yeah, yeah, for reinforcing. Alright. Okay, one drawback of Cyrus being permanently stealth is that he doesn't attack on his own uh, of his own accord anymore. Stealth capture. Uh oh. That's probably a bad and an oversight. Mm -hmm. No work. Yeah, it's while stealth he isn't supposed to attack. Okay. He has the razor back. Yeah, it means you need to micromanage him now. A little bit, less so than uh mm, than Jonah. It's already gone. You pull back a bit. Cyrus, go annoy those. Hmm. Yeah, the Razorback isn't a fighting vehicle. It has a weapon, but it's not supposed to be a forefront fighter. Okay. Cyrus, not not you. Yes. Cyrus, okay. And let's spread out a bit. Actually, you want something stopped around here? You gotta stop it yourself. Daisy. Okay. I wonder what Daisy was. No, okay, actually. But I think, uh, now I think of it, Daisy is obviously a weaponized construction machine. Okay. Yeah. Now, as long as we keep our forces. Yeah, as long as we keep. Some of those explosives between uh, our forces, uh, Ow and Daisy. We should be luring him. We, yeah, we should be luring it into them whenever it tries to crush. 
And I think again it's trying to kill off all of our vehicles before it'll do that though. And so it's not targeting the dreadnought that yeah, it seems to it looks to me like the like the AI tries to get rid of the tanks before it starts doing this. Of course. Okay, that lady did not hear last time. Okay, reposition you. And yeah, now it's... Oh. Crush him under the death roller! Try and get that lined up properly. I tell you, you might want to step back. Oh, I think we just hit something we weren't supposed to hit. That's crazy talk. There's nothing Daisy ain't supposed to hit. <laughs> okay, I think it's just random which lines come out. You, you might want to pull back. Martellus, can you call those out a bit? Crush him under the death roller. No, 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 no. Stay there, you. Oh, wait, are those gone? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Crush him under the death roller. Quickly reposition. Okay, now we should be able to deal the rest of the damage ourselves and... Okay, apparently Ink is snuck in. Okay, you could probably whittle Daisy down with normal fire, but that's just the best way to get rid of her. No, no, after... All right. That was only for the Oath that had a special <laughs> seal afterwards. Yep. And we get Cyrus's favorite back, the Demolition Charge Pack. <laughs> oh no. Powerful explosive charge with a, <clears throat> with a large area of effect and long timer. Excellent at eliminating static targets such as buildings or obstructions. <clears throat> okay, beyond that we got the Armor of Courage. 100% suppression resistance. Okay. Uh, the mini notches and battle scars that mar the ceramite plates of this power armor attest to the courage of its wearers throughout the ages. I think we've read that on some other armor as well. <clears throat> smoke grenade pack. Smoke grenades will force enemy units to fall back and grant the defensive bonus to allies. Okay, we... I don't think it said the first part about smoke grenades in the previous games. Hmm. Then we have an ancient flamer. Slows enemies for three seconds. Said to date back to the age of apostasy, uh, apostasy, this flamer is inscribed with the words Flame the Heretic. Then we have Kraken Bolts, increased weapon range. The, adam <clears throat> the adamantine core and improved propellants of these bolts can penetrate the thick height, you know, the thickest height, even at extreme range. And we finally get a freaking power fist. A Maxima Pattern one, to be, to be specific. Let's see. Power fits are among the most powerful close combat weapons. A gauntlet wreath in deadly energy. A power fist can rip through the heaviest armor. It is a slow weapon, however, making it a poor choice against masses of light infantry. And the Soundstrike Pattern Plasma Cannon. <clears throat> Pardon, again. Blech. Let's see. Plasma cannons are very powerful heavy weapons, hurling massive bolts of superheated energy on huge distances. They cause heavy damage and large detonations, making them effective against all targets. The slow rate of fire and long range mean they are best used at long range with a forward spotter. Basically, this very same description as from the, pre uh, the previous games, I think. Look at the damage. Yeah, 100 or plus on everything. Uh, and... 
me put a new weapon for the ancient for this is a good weapon. Yeah, also look at that range, 71 meters. It has, only, it has only an accuracy of 25%, though, and it doesn't say that it's accurate against certain things, so it is going to miss a lot more. Then we have the chapter battle standard, grants the rally ability, the, <clears throat> the sacred banner bearing the chapter insignia. Its presence on the battlefield stirs blood ravens to shrug off even the most grievous wounds. And the ancient purity seal, plus nine melee damage. An ancient parchment and wax seal inscribed with litanies of devotion to the Emperor and, and Holy Terror. It bears the initials of a long-dead chaplain of the Old Marines. Okay, so another quote-unquote gift. Okay. We didn't get to pick up. There we go. Let's see. Skull Crusher... Let's see. Chance on hit to disable or stun inventory and plus 10 melee damage. Let's see. Brother, brother Captain Heinous stood among the front lines for 140 armors, armors, hours without rest, defending the civilians of New Vernon from marauding Chaos Space Marines of the World Eaters Legion. With his mastercrafted power fist, he slew hundreds of traitor Space Marines and several terrifying Chaos Dreadnoughts. Okay. And we have assault cannons for the for the terminators, or advanced targeting for the devastators. I think this is an easy choice. Oh boy, <laughs> devastate! Oh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think we already have enough for the devastators <laughs> as is. Plus, I think with that upgrade, if we check over here. Uh, yeah, the advanced targeting grants the Vengeance Rounds ability that deals additional damage, but no suppression damage. And I think with these, the suppression is actually more useful than the damage, since, well, it debuffs our enemies heavily. Ooh, yeah. Now, Martellus. Let's see. Yep, you get a new Flamer. <laughs> Ancient. You get a new cannon. Let's actually compare the stats a bit. Let's see, one... Okay, yeah, definitely even more accurate against these. Okay. Okay. Combined with the Thunder Hammer and Martellus' uh, Melta Bombs, we should still be good with covering against vehicles. Plus, we can just bring in some other units to, well, also deal with vehicles. Uh, also, before we move on, the Falling Star, I didn't read the description of this. Uh, <clears throat> Mechboy Gun of the Blood Axis, what overheard advising Velocino, ve fellow Xenos after barely escaping a conflict where this weapon was employed. I got the riddle for yes. If you're in your truck all nice and snug, which would you, had you rather fall on, uh, on the cab? One of them crackly uh, parsumi hammers or a meteor? <laughs> Think sharp is now. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Let's see. Heavy <laughs> weapons aptitude, stunning strikes. Hmm. I'm still a bit unsure on what to go forwards on with the Armides here, since he'll only have, let's see, five, he'll only have four more skill points to put away into things. So we could go for certain victory. We could fill out the, this one and then go a bit more in the others. Hmm. Ooh, tricky. Let's see, we have Fierce and Shout here, which causes enemies to cower, deal less damage for a duration. That could be useful, plus this would speed up the, his ability to use that each time. Hmm. I don't think having him use heavy weapons is going to be of any use. Stunning Strikes might be somewhat useful. But I think we might, I think we should go for maxing out Stamina and then go for Fierce and Shout. Probably a good idea. Yeah, plus this. Gain, re regain health with every enemy attack. I'm going to presume less. You know, he heals less than that he gets uh, hurt, but that would still keep him alive longer. 
Now that he has had too many troubles with that before. You... Obvious choice. <laughs> now, Ancients... <laughs> this thing does require setup, so it might act... Actually, we were going to max these two out anyways, so that just makes it an easier pick to go for this one over that one for the moment. So he just can he can just start blasting the second he gets to, he gets in in range. Now Cyrus, what was it again? We were thinking for you. Uh, Let's see, blue stuff, I think. True, but this armor kind of actually maybe if we move that to someone else, can anyone else actually use that? Anyone should be able to use that. Okay, that that could be quite funny if we send Darmides in while well, completely stealth. <laughs> and I think it might actually work well for Martellus, since if he is stealth, he'll draw less attention, or at least less often. Which means he would be able to use his weapons more more easily. Yeah, he will need to get say... commanded more, but he yeah, already you... does need that. Yeah, just don't don't set the arm, just in case. Uh, for This probably will be more of a test to see how that works. Yeah. Let's see. Otherwise... Let's... Hmm. Let's give this one to you. And then Cyrus gets the Armor of Courage. Not that he'll be in any uh, range to be suppressed in the first place. Okay. Um, yeah, without the Shadow Scale Armor, this becomes more useful because this entire lane is about stealthing. And... Hmm. Actually, we let's try going a mission without... without spending that skill point for the moment. Can you do that? Should be able to. Also, let's swap these out for that. And let's see. Other than that, I think we should be mostly good. We can give you these as well. Hmm. Anything else with the weapons to maybe swap out? The hammer deals more damage. And yeah, Dermot is basically going to be our only melee, our only melee character. You have your new flamer to deal with enemies, which means that we can sell this one. And the artifice bolter. Let's see. Only the ancient can use these ammunitions, but they're only for bolters, as you can see here. But I think for the moment, having him still be our long-range attacker is going to be more useful. Also, actually... Oh, I look <laughs> forward to see that thing in action. He actually fires from a longer range than Cyrus. To outsnipe the freaking sniper. Yeah, and that thing has a wee damage as well. So even if it miss a little bit... From direct hit, the EW itself should do plenty of harm. Yeah. Okay. For now, though, let's go to Typhon. We have traced Kairos' transmission back to Typhon. However, something is not right. Auspex scan suggests there is no enemy activity. It is completely tranquil, contrary to the state we left it in. If these scans are true, Kairos is here alone. I suspect otherwise. Be on your guard. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we both remember what actually happened there. So it is probably best if we swap these out for the moment. Uh, let's see. Let's give you... Yeah, the vengeance rounds. Oh, so now you want to give him a bolter after what I told you about it. We probably should keep a heavy bolter ready for him in case we get into one of those missions. 
<coughs> okay, because in this mission we're going to need to keep moving. Or Ooh, actually, yeah. hmm, there is going to be one thing towards the end, but I guess we can also lose. We can also view this as a test for how well the agent works with the bolter. Okay. Grab as many resources as we can. Hmm. What is this actually? It's okay. It looks like, like an ancient blood shrine. Departing okay. Now. You have Captain Diomedes. Okay. Here we go then. Hmm. And something I just noticed when they flipped the, the map, they didn't change where the north pointer was. You have Captain Di I shall... What is this? Nothing was supposed to find us here. Warhost, hold fast. They must not disrupt the Seer Council. Okay, seems I've remembered wrong. Martellus. Yeah, I was thinking of the other mission that we go on on Typhon. So you did choose the wrong weapons as well? Yep. Do you have any grasp of the fallout of your actions? You must leave this world at once. I understand the fallout perfectly, Xenos. The very least of which will be scores of dead Eldar. Destroy the Eldar, brothers. I will not leave them to interfere when we face Kairos. It shall be the Emperor soon. Okay. Objective taken. Ah, well. Does mean that we at least get the, the tests done. Okay, no, it's all like he either Come thinks Elder works for them or that he just does not want Elder to steal his kill. Still, the invaders persist. My king, we shall strike them before vanishing. Prepare yourselves. As long as the webway gate remains concealed, we may call in help. Not the best thing to admit to over comms. Okay. And Cyrus, target. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect him to actually push that thing back. Okay. Not much that. Blind grenade, okay. I, I think this is the same level where we got the flash grenades as the orcs, so that fits. Okay. supposed to be here or is it placed somewhere else for some reason up oh, there <laughs> we had to literally bump into it okay now let's grab the hq and then we go after the seer council Martellus, deal with the tank. Surprise, yep. 
<laughs> Hello, Sensei. How are you doing today? Hello, Sensei. I'm surprised I no longer get jump scared by them. <laughs> Maybe you feel safer in the armor. Yeah, I lost uh, you as well. I uh, lost that way even. So. <laughs> Well, yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. To... Uh, I'm Hillian. Over here is Drakir, and yeah, <laughs> we stream a variety of games, mostly for the story. And uh, though we do have a few days that we try to do some multiplayer streams with some others, just for the fun of it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Sansai. Let's see. Hello. The tadpoles are. Uh, game got unselected. <laughs> the tadpoles are attacking and a bunch of uh, emotions that I don't recognize. <laughs> but yeah, welcome everyone, and I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> yeah, welcome everyone to madness. Okay, also give me a moment to give you a shout out. Let's see. Slash SO, Sin Sai Tadpole. There we go. What were you playing actually? Oh, Forza Horizon 5. Okay. If the point seems vulnerable. Let's see, and I don't remember if I... Also, let's not forget uh, these guys. Yeah. I don't remember if I have Forza Horizon 5 or not, or if I just tried a trial period of that. I think I own it. Hmm. But yeah, I have to say that modern racing games don't interest me as much anymore as the older ones, like uh, the original most w Need for Speed Most Wanted did. Who's that to mention the one I dislike the most? <laughs> Mono, in context, I remember that one most of was. Yes, Commander. Everyone kept talking about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, they're coming after us. Let's deal with them. Yeah, yes, welcome I have tried it. <laughs> I did not like it. Okay, yeah, it is a bit of a grind with certain things. Especially the police chases. Some of the objectives you get later on in that. Uh, more of a, a play the multiplayer part than a yay. I can't break the car before even start the start. <laughs> okay, with racing games, it's typically not the best idea to start with the multiplayer. But okay. Uh, anyways, welcome to uh, <clears throat> Dawn. Of Welcome to uh, Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2 Retribution. Quite a quite a mouthful, yes. Where we're playing through the campaign as the Space Marines. We've already gone through once with the Orcs. But once we're done with this run through, we'll move uh, we'll move this game more to the weekend as we try and go through with the other factions. Whilst on the main weekdays, we move on to well our next franchise, which we'll be playing through a few games through, not all of them. Definitely not a certain game from a 20 or 2006. But yeah, we've been moving to uh, some Sonic games. You mean the one that was exclu Xbox exclusive? Mm, I don't remember if it was exclusive or not. Yeah. I know there was one on the Xbox that was infamous for being bad. Like you had yeah. no green screen for everything. Yeah, a, a game that in any other franchise would have been the absolute death of the franchise. But Sonic yeah. just keeps having bad games but still manages to survive somehow. Yeah. It was just idea of, you want to talk to someone? Noob screen. You want to go to the next area? Loot screen. That, that would make sense, but still. You need a loot screen for every time you want to talk, even to random NPCs that you're saying you something random? Yeah. Hold back the tide, brothers. Do not let these invaders find the council again. Okay, that's what suppresses the loot screen for each menu option. <laughs> I would honestly not be surprised. But yeah, how's your day going otherwise, Sensei? 
Yeah, how are you since Saturday? I shall arrive soon. Okay. Let's go chase after. Oop. Never mind. We need to first get these a hard tail. And of course they attack from the other side as well then. Metellus, move over. Come on, Metellus. I know your stealths, but it doesn't mean you don't get the fire needs. Why are you close, Cyrus? You're a sniper. Okay, everyone move forwards. <clears throat> Actually, Cyrus, instead just destroy the building underneath their feet. <laughs> It'll also deal with them. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Moving now. Yeah, the, the story of this game is that we're on the tail of a of a traitor chapter master. But of course, our our main character, who was one of his, uh, let's just put it simply, pets, so to say, <laughs> they were still rather unbelieving until they ba they uh, they got a full-on recording of the guy going, uh, no, almost going. Uh, skulls for the skulls throne and all that. Yeah, he did say skulls for the skull throne. Yeah, he's got skulls to Thor, Mr. the corn, which is close enough. Wait, isn't this where the seer council was supposed? Oh, they already jumped. Okay, yeah, we need to get rid of that warp spider, you know, boss, to get to the, to stop jumping around like a bunch of fleas. Okay. Some, oop, some devastators should work. You flip around, dumbass. You. There's a tank of theirs over there. Okay. Command, I am on the. Okay. Yeah. Once we get there, we really should take out that exarch to make this less of a goose hunt. Cyrus should yeah. be able to take care of that. And we should have lessened their defensive walls quite a bit now. So, Cyrus... You actually sneak up, try and sneak up as f much to the front as you can. Okay. Gotta keep an eye open for that Exarch. You? Okay, someone went flying. Holy! Okay. I think we have a sun. Cyrus, take your shots. There we go. Someone went... ...to space again. <laughs> okay, I missed that one. Okay. Yeah, they went off the bridge without one with another one. Like, that felt normally. Okay, seems like this one over here is immune until the rest gets taken out. Never mind. <laughs> the game immediately contradicts me. Yeah, you've got something there. Let's see them. Hmm. Okay, drop pods. 
That might be useful when we use more troops. Beyond that, we got the Titan Smasher. Let's see, 30% chance to knock back enemies, 23% on the hits to do 70 extra damage to vehicles. Okay. 5% accuracy. Yep, but accurate against vehicles. Let's see. Tech Marines of the, Red, of the Red Wolves have preserved this weapon for millennia, although it looks quite unremarkable. Time and again, the Titan Smasher has found weak points in great war machines, heavy tanks, armored demons, and terrifying siege engines. Okay. And then we have just blind grenades. Stun grenades that inflict no damage, but can temporarily incapacitate most infantry. Okay. Hmm. And then we get our upgrades to pick. Plasma Gun of the Raven, Enhanced Armor, or Dark Age of Technology? Let's see. Plus extra health, 21% chance to do extra uh, damage. Hmm. Let's see. While investigating a mycetic spore impact on a Raven Guard recruiting world, Captain Pyrus of the, bleh, of the Raven Guard 8th Company encountered a never-before-seen mutation of the Tyranid warrior bioform. With this blessed plasma gun, he held off the, the cunning predators for hours until a Death Watch kill team arrived with heavy support and cleansed all Tyranid life from the planet. Okay. And we have extra health for the Predator tanks or extra health for the Dreadnoughts. So which of those two would you say? Go towards the tanks with their anti-vehicle capacity or the Dreadnoughts with their anti-vehicle capacity? Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this is tricky. Mm. Uh, with how dreadnoughts are more mobile and don't have uh, rear hit vulnerability, I'm I'd say lean towards the dreadnoughts. But the yeah, choice is yours. For now, for I do just maybe get more chance for the tank. Yeah. Okay. Now, Cyrus, you have two points now. Hmm. I, I'm thinking we go for instant revival here, since well. It's instant revival. And yeah. then we can put the rest of the points wherever we want. And let's give uh, back uh, the ancient his... Uh, his plasma cannon. Yeah, yours. <laughs> Something <laughs> satisfying about it. Yeah, let's also give him the blind grenades. Just in case. Yeah, just in case something gets close. Though, hmm. Actually, let's swap these around. Since if they... Oh, only Cyrus can use those, so never mind. Okay, but since these two are going to be close to each other all the same, they'll be able to cover each other with their grenades. If Cyrus drops one of these, causes them to pull back, and the Ancient can start shooting again. Hmm. <clears throat> and let's see. Don't think we have much reason to give... Uh, Either of you a new weapon. Let's compare these two for a moment, though. 215, 315. Okay, you have a much higher accuracy. Hmm. Let's actually keep the both of them for the moment. Just in case. But we'll see how the Ancient does with the plasma gun. For now... I see... Kairos was never here. I fear we were manipulated, drawn to Typhon to slay these Eldar. But to what purpose? Okay, this is the mission I was thinking of. The make haste one. Uh, Space Marine terminate the squad? Yep, they'll get the Cyclone missile upgrades. Which Ooh. I think is probably a lot better than giving Tactical Marines missile launchers. Since we can already get Devastators with Lance Cannons. Still, might be useful, and then faultless faith. The Emperor is all that stands between any man and his death. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, no need to pick an honor, to bring along an honor guard. So here we go. Bravo, bravo, 
Diomedes. As always, my greatest champion. Kydris, where are you? Show yourself! I am well removed from Typhon, and so needed a puppet there to stop the Eldar and their wretched ritual. It has kept the Ordo Malleus fleet from emerging from the warp. With the Xenos slain, the Exterminatus can commence. You... you desire the Exterminatus? My dear Apollo, long have I orchestrated the slaughter of the Subsector, all in Korn's name. It is too late for Typhon, but it isn't too late for you, Apollo. I have beguiled you to this juncture, but I have spoken one truth. You are the greatest warrior the Blood Ravens has ever seen. Join me in Korn's service. Kill these creatures of Angelos that you have surrounded yourself with. Become the slaughterer I know you to be. Master Kyrus, thank you. You have shown me the truth that I was unable to see. Centuries of service and lie. I do not know what I am anymore. But I know this. I am no traitor. I would rather die. Hmm. Pity. No matter. The death you desire is but a moment away. <laughs> okay, so that's what the Elder were up to there. Oh. Oops. We have arrived, and it is now that we perform our charge. In fealty of the God Emperor, our undying Lord, and by the grace of the Golden Throne. I declare exterminatus upon the Imperial world of Typhon Primaris. I hereby sign the death warrant of an entire world and consign a million souls to oblivion. May the Imperial justice account in all balance. The Emperor protects. No choice. Must withdraw. It must be magnificent to see a planet writhe and scream. To feel it convulse beneath your own feet. Witness it die with living eyes. In time, perhaps I may share this gift with every last living soul in the galaxy. Until then. <laughs> okay, yeah. Better get to running again, huh? Uh, no, not that way. <laughs> Definitely not that way now. Run, hilly boy, run! <laughs> and yeah, of course, the planet going to hell is uh, stirring the tyrannids from, up with, from their burrows. Oh, that's a plasma ball. I think the <laughs> I think the orbital cannons were <laughs> one thing to correct you there. <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah, we need to get moving before this thing cracks like a nut. To the damn thing. I'm gonna be gonna have a lot of fun with the cybers and uh, engines and long range weapons. Yep. Yeah. Okay, just gotta make sure he doesn't fall behind though, since he is quite a bit behind. He has obliterated that uh, juggernaut. Okay, someone quickly grab this point. Yeah. We have enemy 
No. Okay, those are not our problem. That one might be. Okay, we... <laughs> Metellus can use... We can freely use his grenade as much as he likes. Because it's not like he's going to burn this place anymore than it already is. That'd be yep. sad. It was such a yes. beautiful looking planet. Yeah, deadly as all hell probably, but look nice enough. <laughs> but now it's getting a uh, a global makeover. Okay. Now, let's actually see if we can go this way. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking that's a no on that. Oh, dear God. <laughs> okay, why is Cyrus always the target of the artillery? And I was almost oh, expecting that to break <laughs> now, Cyrus was the one who constantly got targeted by the, by the airstrikes. Oh. Of course, the very last bit breaks off. Okay. Other way. That was just a plain ass tease. I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Long way it is. Yomides, can you quickly jump over there to grab those boxes? The rest of you keep moving. Okay, you can all meet and up again he here. One. And he's the coin. How sloppy yeah. the pirate he is. There you go. I am on the way. Slaying the target. Okay, the Rippers are running for their lives. So we'll just have to fight the... Okay, we might have to fight those big boys. Okay, luckily they have big ones to count as vehicles. So Martellus comes... Okay, they're not interested in a fight after all. Okay. Okay, might as well run after them and let them... Well, deal with whatever you run into first. Okay, keep moving, people. Actually, uh, no. Nope. Is Sarah's going to be unlucky here again? No, it's actually... <laughs> it's actually quite clustered together this time. <laughs> he still gets hit by another barrage. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. Okay, that's that is definitely going to collapse. Okay, Martellus, get the grenades in there. Actually, let's call in that drop pod as well. There we go. <laughs> One venerable dreadnought. That should help speed things up. Get Martellus, Melta. Yep. Never mind, the ancient melted it for you. No, it's the dreadnought who got the kill. Okay. <laughs> Holy. Okay. Yes. go grab those quick. Okay, another fight. Wait, why are you to? Why are you set to melee? Wait, why is why is he? Oh, I think I get it. For the eye control. Yeah, let's turn that off. Okay, come on, everyone, keep moving. Why? Are you... Okay, this must why be a glitch this of some moving? sort. There you go. 
For some reason, he won't swap back to ranged attack. That's weird. Hmm. Is that because of the... Um, I was pressing the change stance button. Like, Is it for the force, the stealth armor? No, I don't think so. Because I think he was using his flamethrower before. I think it's because of the dreadnoughts. Like, somehow the game confuses them to be one unit or something. Martellus, keep moving. Yeah, he seems to... S hmm. Yeah, there's some sort of weirdness going on here. What is this? Yeah. You lowly vermin truly think to escape? Ungrateful scum, squandering Lord Kairos' gift of a glorious death! Pay your penance in blood! Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! Okay, at least it gets everyone nearby. Uh, Cyrus, capture that quickly. Martellus, can we get you... Okay, now you want to fire again. Okay, that must... Yeah, that, that must be some glitch with uh, the... Dro the yeah, the dreadnoughts. Uh, for some reason. Okay. Okay, some Terminators. And yeah, that is quite the range, huh? Yeah. You sit up over there, that should make you cover most of the battlefields. And that's just keep you at the part at the bottom. Mm. Artelis, there we go. Yeah. I'm thinking it's either the Dreadnought or the armor that is messing with him somehow. Okay, we've got almost 10 minutes to do this. <laughs> two, two bitches. <laughs> Okay. Can you actually go in there, see if that helps any with your coverage? Armor of the Hunter. Martellus. Yeah, since he stays stealth, he doesn't auto-attack much anymore. Okay. That's actually a terrible spot for him to be watching, because he's only watching backwards. Okay. Uh, nope. That. You have Captain Diomedes. Uh, where's the rest? Ah, there they go. <laughs> we got we got rid of them faster than the game thought we would. Tellus can set up a turret as well. Hey. Kill two orcs with one blow with a plasma thing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we, we definitely should have been more, making more use of the turrets. Terminators are almost gone. And they're gone. Okay. Need to focus down this guy. Oh, actually... What I don't know this. When he's on the field, the time limit stops. What did the engine just do? Yeah, it's charge shot, probably. Let's see. Oop. 
Okay, everyone, get the hell out. With the plasma weapons. <laughs> okay. The devastators coming just as we need to run like hell. Yeah, no big need for that. Okay. And might as well do this to cover the chart. Yeah, to cover the attack. Or oh, not attack, the run more. Okay. There we go. Okay, to hell and back again, and another one of uh, Cyrus's toys, the Remote Detonation Pack. A large explosive charge linked to a remote activation device not fully understood by the tech priests. This device nonetheless triggers correctly when the correct activation room is pressed. <laughs> Let's That's see. forget to me have a Sabaton song stuck in my brain again. <laughs> Okay, Mechanicus Dispensation. Recycle this war gear to unlock the next Predator upgrade. Okay, so we're getting that all the same. Yes! <laughs> then Armor of the Hunter, plus 12 range damage, no level requirements. Sergeant Paulus of the Red Hunters was renowned as the first marksman of his cha in his chapter. He gifted his armor to the Blood Raven shortly after serving with Cyrus in the Death Watch. Okay. Alright, uh, what song of it? Oh, what's it? The Helen back. It's quite literally yeah. how it's named, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that is the name of the song to a he from Helen back. I just forgot. It was about a soldier. I just forgot his name, sadly enough. It has yeah, been a while I listened to the song. Yeah, the song is called To Helen Back, I'm thinking. Let me just kind of do a quick look. Uh, Sabaton, To Hell and Back. There, it auto -filled. Uh, let's see, Ancient Melter Gun. That's just a basic description, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, let's see. It is human nature to seek culpability in a time of tragedy. It is a sign of strength to cry out against fate rather than to bow one's head and succumb. Inevitably, many shall fault the hands upon the sword which fell Typhon, the Ordo Malleus. But the Inquisition merely performs the duty of its office. To further fear them is redundant. To hate them, heretical. Those more sensible will place responsibility with those who forced the hands of the Inquisition. With some fortune, they may foster this hatred into purpose and further rule their own fate by coming to the Emperor's service. Yet ultimately, it was I who set these events into motion with a single blow from my hammer. God splitter. And again, that's where the gift comes from. <coughs> okay, easy choice, I'd say. Yep. Hmm. No chatter. Okay. And let's see. The man the song is based on is Audie Murphy. Okay, let's have a look. That deals more damage, so the old one goes. Okay. And fittingly that we're talking about Sabaton, because this is also the name of one of their... <clears throat> also the name of one of their songs. And album. 
Uh, yes, Sensei to Helen back is really good. Yeah. Uh, apparently, oh, yeah. according to Sabaton's wiki, even uh, Audie Murphy's son agrees on that. Now let's see, as it says here in the trivia bit, uh, Audie Murphy's song, uh, son said that he was happy that that he was happy because Sabaton didn't make another country slash folk ballad song about his father because he got tired of them. <laughs> oh, yay! Did not see that one coming. Okay. Let's see if. Hmm. If Martellus is going to be stealth most of the time, maybe it is a good idea to give him a channel ability that will that will strengthen any vehicles nearby. Oh yeah, but I don't see him do it. Hmm. Plus, it doesn't say that it has a range or something. Maybe we maybe we could just park his ass in a corner, having tra channeled this the whole time, and improve all vehicles on the map. Okay. Then the Ancient, we're going down your stamina line again. Oh, and... I really love this plasma weapon. <laughs> and let's see. Automatically infiltrates when unconscious. Uh, yeah, I think that'll be useful. Okay. Now let's see. Extra range damage. Do we put that on the Ancient? Like, he's going to be at the back most of the time, so this isn't actually going to affect anyone, really. So let's put that on you. And Cyrus, you do have moments where you get up close, but I think this one will do better since you'll be at the back most of the time. <coughs> and of course, we give that this back to you. But one thing I noticed there is that... The demons that were on top of Cyrus didn't actually fall back or move away from him after he used it. So maybe that's a bit of a glitch. Or maybe that's the... Uh, <clears throat> maybe... Uh, Wait. Hmm. I think you just answer your own question. You threw it at demons. Yeah. Also, reduced ranged firepower of those in cloud. Does that mean... If once in the cloud deal less damage, or that they just deal like get dealt up, it's in red, so less firepower of those in it. Okay. But yeah, it's mostly meant to get space between you and the enemy. For now, though, we return to the judgment of Carrion. Space Marine uh, Predator Attack and Space Marine Dreadnought. Oh, wait. Uh, before we do that... Yeah, what's your ask? Did, did you use that uh, special thingy? Yeah, there we go. Now, does that mean that it moves to the next? Yep, it does. Last cannons. Or multi-melter. Or war gear, the stone hearth. To carry our emperor's will into the darkness beyond the Imperium requires vigilance, sacrifice, and the strength to resist temptations of power and glory. Chaplain Michaelis. Oh, multi melter. Oh. I guess we go with the multi melter. <laughs> Probably. We've been won't... Need for that one. Yeah, plus we all, we've seen it in work plenty of times. The Space Hulk, the judgment of Carrion. Not the safest place in the subsector, but we have our lives. What is our next move? We hold position. Diomedes. What did you say? You heard me. We hold position. I am tired of this hopeless charade. In the end, we are nothing but heretics. Nay, less than that. Pawns of heretics. Puppets. Every century served. Every battle in the Emperor's name. All of it ordered by a heretic. All our glory's lies. There is nothing left to say. No. There is much left to say. And I will break my silence to say it. Sergeant Tarkas. There was another like you, Diomedes, what? and we served together on Cronus. During the Tyranid invasion, we became fast friends. But Kyrus called for him, and he went. It corrupted him, and he despaired, betraying us to the Black Legion. I slew him. Captain Diomedes, I look to you now and see the same signs. I will not risk that. I will slay Kyrus myself, and if I must, you as well. 
Our past glories may be lies, but Kairos has not taken our one true duty from us. No one but the Emperor can relieve us of that. Tarkus. Let us go. We must escape this place. Past records of expeditions to this vessel have reported a teleportarium relay present. If we reach it, we can escape. Surprise! What the bloody... <laughs> you didn't see that one coming, huh? I didn't. Oi! Trespassers! Invaders! Hooligans and dead Nobody, what nobody just puts us in here on this here space hulk without me say so. Now piss off, or I'm like to say so to something nasty. <laughs> But uh, yep. let nothing stand in our way. <laughs> well, yeah, this is probably a bit of Space Marine lore that you do know. But to become a tactical Marine, you need to have basically done everything. Like, I, I believe I read that uh, Space Marines, after they be stop being scouts or graduate from scouts, directly nice. <laughs> they first start off as Devastator Marines, as he is uh, equipped to now. Then they become assault marines, like he could also become if we went down the wheel line of powers or perks. And then they become tactical marines, which is all what the entire first row of uh, perks is about. I did not know that. <laughs> but I, I knew you scout become a uh, uh, marine, but I did not know there the was much deeper depths into the squad types. <laughs> well, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. And now I kind of want to see what would happen if you threw G.I. Joe into the 41st millennium. Okay, that was a good shot. And yet, yeah, now that he has his helmet off, his actual name is being used. Same as his icon. <laughs> okay. But yeah, that, that also plays into that uh, Kairos said that Delmonese is surrounded by Angelos' men. And yeah, we didn't know who the Ancient was. But yeah, this confirms it. It's just Delmonese and Angelos' crew. Yeah. Holy. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay. I like it. This plasma more and more. <laughs> yeah, it's just a long range fuck you to a group. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he is kind of almost overpowered. Though in tape top, top, it is also extremely powerful, but. Extremely vulnerable. What? Ex also extremely vulnerable. In the way you expect. <laughs> Moreover, since it, they, they haven't fully grasped the reconstruction of the tech properly, as they did in the in the Boris uh, Heresy and such, they can um, harm yourself. Yeah. Oh, I'm expecting company! This brute's contraption is drawing power from the teleportarium. We cannot leave the Space Hulk until we destroy it. He's actually actively teleporting in Tyranids. Great. Oh, dear. But yeah, well, you fire. Thank my you. My problems with many models of the class, uh, my weapons are <laughs> overheating. Yeah. So much that, yeah, if you even burn through Space Marine the gauntlets. Or worst, if you're extremely, extremely unlucky, explode. Yeah. 
<laughs> that is something that they do in Dark Tide as well. But the the normal sized plasma guns that is. And did you just fire a shot into the floor, Tarkas? Yeah, I, I think the biggest one, like Tarkas, usually is the more the more safer ones. Just Holy. yeah. Okay, but so I want to capture yeah. that. Okay, but yeah, there's also probably why you don't see them having rapid fire plasma weapons. <laughs> it probably just end up melting the down gun. Definitely. Doesn't mean that we're not going to be rapid firing this thing. Yep. Okay, I was oh, expecting uh, them to charge in after. I meant like a machine gun. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing what Tarkus is doing is that he's shutting down the safety limiters or something during that. But, yeah. He was talking about Avatus during all of that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I suspect that. It will be done as you wish. Okay, rapid fire. <laughs> okay, that also deals with them quite well. Someone break that, please. I feel okay. like we want to let him keep this weapon for quite a while. <laughs> okay, let's get at least one Terminator squad since it's about a footing on a Death Hulk. The Space oh, Hulk. God. But all play through, they end up using Brick a lot as our. Living York. Let's see, can we get here? There's a one. I'm just thinking if we can pick one or multiple of these. I'm thinking only one. Of the upgrades it is. But yeah, as I was saying, Break was our madness run powerhouse later in the old play to heat. I feel like it might be the ancient. Yeah, slash Tarkus. Now let's see if this actually swaps these around, or if it be if both become active. Oh, it looks like it's both. Okay, that's nice to know. <laughs> the only is getting knocked back once again. <laughs> we really need to find something with knockback resistance or immunity. Nope. That one missed. Yeah, okay. once it does hit, the health drops. And even if it, it just hits on the side, it does heavy damage. <laughs> but also to everyone around it. <laughs> well, it does have splash damage. Uh, True. <laughs> okay, now this is a sight, huh? It's an assault cannon and cyclone missiles. You should <laughs> take a, a photo of them and put me on it. <laughs> now with the with the camera angle, I don't know that's a, <laughs> that'll work. Okay. Since you're here. All right, we're indoors, so we can't technically shoot over walls, even though that was just done to us. It shall be the Emperor's Okay. Captured. Just need to push on and... Cyrus? For orders. On my way. Thank you. <laughs> okay, come on, they can, they can shoot and jump over that, but we can't. I'm calling orc hacks, but then again, anything orcs think to uh, think on enough becomes a hack. Oh, you're the plasma! <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Yeah, we're gonna keep pushing. <laughs> And in melee, he just bonks them with the big thing. <laughs> okay. But it does make sense. It is a, blo a bloody battering ram. Very well played from point me. Blank range. Yep. They get stuck behind the door. <laughs> yeah, of <laughs> course. But yeah. But as I said earlier about Buzz Mario, whether it can be very dangerous to use, they'll still be used due to how way. powerful they are. Yeah. It's a risk reward thing. And it's a big reward for if you get it. Okay, can we use the barrage here? Yes, we can. Yeah. Now let it rain. Ow. <laughs> And of course, the Amadeus gets knocked around again. You might crack for a moment there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Wait, what? It wasn't, it wasn't yeah, like the older times, just a split second thing. Okay, I made a note on the time to maybe edit it out if it's too much. Uh, I doubt it, but it did surprise me. I don't okay, know, so I you do still get jump scared. <laughs> okay. Well, you can uh, look. But well, since you did right now, you can look it up yourself later to see how loud it is on your end. Yeah. If even got picked up by recording. Okay. Ed. Actually, I want to go for another squad of Terminators. <laughs> Oh, sometimes you see a plasma ball just impacting the tank and make it blow up. Um, 16 requisition to few. And wait, okay, the Dreadnought is actually more pricey than the Predators, probably because they don't have directional weakness. You have Captain Diomedes. Again, he keeps saying that like he's picking up a bloody phone. <laughs> Normally speaking. <laughs> oh, targets, targets. Also, we should probably call in... Oh, okay, that actually takes up uh, population as well. Okay. I didn't think it actually would. Uh, it does make sense when you think about it. Balance-wise. Yeah. Okay, can you go stealth and quickly throw down in the demolition pack in there? How did you get there? Okay, more explosives. Oh, I've got both of them to do it. Okay. Ooh, holy crap. Okay, I might put, I might take the armor off of Mortellus since he doesn't do too much if we're not paying complete attention to him. Uh, I was run for that. Okay, make it rain, you four or six. <laughs> okay, that is quite a sight. That is quite a sight to see. This see a synchronized missile mirage. Now. Oh, so beautiful. Yep. Uh, Martellus, patch up some holes. And since he can do that at range, the tank can keep going. Oh yeah, we should also check how his channel ability with that works. Also, th is there a limit? Is there a range limit to that, or can the tank just go all the way up to the front line? Understood. Oh no, it it does have a range limit. It seems. Orders, 
Okay. Oh, I over... I overlooked an entire teleporter. Okay. Might as well test this thing out then. Holy! Yeah, that Steal me teleporter! Will nothing doing! It took me bad than a decade to squeeze the juice out of that thing back there. Should only be another decade or so before I get to sack me out of this bug infested alone! <laughs> the idiot's been tapping power from a teleporter. Uh, if he could figure out how to use it, he could have been out of here in like the first 10 days, probably. Then again, Orc. Yeah, and he had obviously gone mad. This does not help. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. One more fight. And no, we actually have to cap fill to the max this time. Hm. Uh, yes. Oh no! Oh, yeah. There's a kill can. What's left of it? Yep. Now it's just uh, a can of steamed orc. Now it was a can of steamed orc. Steamed? Could it be grilled in this case? Yep. Cyrus. Well, I guess we get to see Cyrus's auto revive at work then. <laughs> okay, everyone push towards there. And yeah, he is picking himself up. <laughs> okay. Terminator squads. Bring down the roof. And there goes the tank. Oh, okay. Let's pull back a bit. Cyrus, get to work with the explosives. Okay. Oh, he's been spotted. Okay, drop that, and get to running. <laughs> he got smacked around. Okay. Martellus. Never mind. Okay. Where did you go all the way to over there? Okay, it is... About the same distance as to the headquarters, but... Okay, <laughs> grenades... Tarkus, bombard... Cyrus, the snipe. Uh, it, this is a pretty tough mech, all things considered. A lot tougher than the war boss we took on. And, oh. Terminators, pull back a bit and make it rain. Okay, I like that it also shows the minimum range. And there's those tanks. Maybe they have an easy time fighting him with the orcs. Might have. With the orcs, it was a lot more chaotic, I think. And we get over the bombardment. <laughs> and some cluster mines. Good of his infantry. Detonates only when enemies are nearby. Explosion that can be planted ahead of time. Enemy infantry approaching the mine triggers its detonation, dealing significant damage. Cluster mines require almost no time to plant. Okay. Hmm. 
If it takes almost no time, we might as well try planting it on the feet of some enemies. Oh. Okay. Shall we go for the multi meltdown? Yeah, let's. <laughs> okay. We can take the last cannon next time. Adrostia, Captain. Diomedes, finally an answer. It seems I still have some allies left. In your absence, I astropathed Gabriel Angelos once more, and his response was most disturbing. I will play it back and let you hear for yourself. Inquisitor, though it was the demon Alcair who first rotted the heart and mind of Kairos, it is with another demon the Chapter Master currently treats. This is the demon of Tartarus, of the Maledictum. Unwittingly, it was set free with a blow from my own hammer. It seeks to offer up the skulls of the slain to Korn, so it may open a warp rift that swallows the sector. In order to achieve this genocide, Kairos has orchestrated the arrival of the Inquisition and the Exterminatus. We learned as much from Kairos himself. It seems every last one of us has played a part in allowing this tragedy. Regardless, this confession does far more to damn the Blood Ravens than redeem it. I cannot halt the Exterminatus while Kairos still breathes, Captain Diomedes. You and Angelos must act soon, before the Ordo Malleus plays completely into the demon's hands. Adrastia out. Diomedes, on the Space Hulk, I asked you what our next move was and you faltered. Like a fool, I ask again. What is our next move? It is true that even if we should defeat the traitor, we face condemnation and death. But it is not for pride or favor that we serve, but for the Emperor himself and the purpose he has granted us. If we shall die fulfilling that purpose, so be it. None will find us wanting. <sighs> to death, then. If Kairos' plan is to succeed, he will need a place to wait out the Exterminatus. There is only one place in the subsector that the Ordo Malleus will not bring their guns. A world that died long ago. Cyrene. The Teleportarium is already configured to take us there. We can leave immediately. <laughs> and Cyrus proving again that he's the brains of the bunch. Immediately yeah. figuring out where he's hiding. Yeah, and again, we be good with the optional first, but... Yeah, this is proof. They did not kill all... They did... That uh, storyline we saw in the first campaign of the Oval One is continued here. Yep. Let's see... I'm sort of thinking to remove this from uh, the Almedes and swap it with the Multi-Melter, since he'll always be in close range. So let's give that a try. And also fitting since he has the jump pack on and it's the, it's the duty of assault marines to deal with vehicles. That means you have a, an open space. Let's put the Orbs of the Omnissi in there. Uh, Tarkus, you have no need for either of, of these. Cyrus, try the mines. Now we have something specifically against buildings and <clears throat> and against vehicles. Yeah, and Matilda's can be the anti infantry. Hmm? Didn't we get a ban or something? Yeah, it's over here, the chapter battle standard, but it would replace the jump pack. Oh. Actually, let's swap it around for a second to see what the rally does. Break suppression and heal nearby allies. Okay. So. The Force Commander in the base game and Chaos Rising had this and the uh, Battle Cry basically as one ability, I think. Or at least the suppression breaking, I think. But I think we should keep the Omidies as an Assault Marine. And let's see. We still have this for granting someone a bunch of experience. But we should be good with hitting level 10 on everyone in these other missions all the same. Hopefully. <laughs> so I do have... There is one thing I wonder about Meridian, since we don't see her again, if uh, the governess of that place is still alive or not. Though it does sound like if the if the trader marine struck the 
Capital Gardens, then it is likely that she got caught off guard and killed in the f <coughs> killed off in the first strike, which is a shame. Oh, yeah. Let's see, which shall we do first? Mount Sakara's here, which will give us a last cannon, a Devastator Squad upgrade, or an Assault Marine upgrade, or over here for, <laughs> okay, another Terminator upgrade, or a Predator Tank upgrade. Yeah, we'll go for the Predator upgrade, but the question is, which one is shortest? I think this one. We still have and... 15 minutes about. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. For let's go with the shortest one for. Let's like the yeah. old time. From the judgment of Carrion, it appears there's a cargo hold that may yield valuable assets. Containment better. Hexor status notification. Initial quarantine designation. Three point five centuries. Quarantine status completed. Cargo designation. Security level, prime minutes. Value level, prime minutes. Power level, prime minutes. Dot, dot, dot. Contents erased. Label engine for cargo relocation. Operational. Advise. External containment bay breach. Xenos presence confirmed. Relocate cargo immediately. I do have to wonder, with it, this being both security level and value level Primaris, if this has anything to do with the Primaris project. Hmm. Only sure for this was released way before Primaris Marines. True, but could have been maybe a bit of foreshadowing, perhaps? Unsure. Hmm. Either way, let's get going. I don't think the, the Primaris is a, also a term for highly classified and powerful objects and all that. Like, it's a high-grade uh, dedication. Okay. <laughs> Immediately open fire. <laughs> Mm. Yep. Okay, we'll have to keep a good eye. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I should have swapped out Martellus's armor. Because that flamethrower is going to be a lot of use in here. Rest not, there are still targets to engage. Down. Next target. Okay. Move forward. Let's see. Actually, before we do much of anything else, let's bring the Venerable Dreadnought in. There we go. Uh, uh, remember now, down there first before going up. Yeah. Hostile Xenos infiltration detected. Defenses compromised. Okay, and this time he start he stayed on ranged for. Still unsure why he was he why he irreversibly swapped. Um, what the heck happened there with the Apollo? Mm. He uh, sort of started orders. dancing. Departing now. <laughs> okay, I missed that. Yeah, first I saw the hammer just repeatedly. He just repeatedly turning back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, sounds like his passing got confused. Yeah, but I thought he was about to glitch out or something. <laughs> Okay, we'll just have to defend a few points, and then this mission is done. Cyrus, if you please. Martellus. Oh yeah, I'm getting tired, so he's gonna even take this one. Okay. Now. Let's see. Next time we should be able to more than finish the game off. We have enemy targets. Mm. I rather I am hit. Let's see. We need to get it over there. 
Yeah. If you're able to do this with the other ones on the weekend, then yeah, we should take too long to finish the other ones uh, on side quest. Yeah. Though, on the weekends we do double streams, so maybe having yeah, no, a three we, hour one might be an overkill, along with a two hour one as well. Understood. Yeah, on the weekends uh, it would be it would just be two hour stream, so it might dip into four streams per faction on that. Yeah. So, so let's be honest, so the, the option to do with a two hour stream only for the evening to be a three hour one. Also That's a lot of stream and also will make our little break between the streams much shorter by an hour yeah so yeah we will keep the three hour ones for the main quest i think yeah all right the captain has spoken oh well the captain has confirmed <laughs> okay you cover that hole <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, a Devastator Squad covering... Mm, there's no Devastator Squad covering that there, so that's a, a vulnerability at the moment. But Martellus should be able to deal with anything that pops up. Now, don't get too eager, Apollo. There... There. They're going to be vulnerable for a bit. Mark the us. Dean Steelers. Actually, I don't need. I didn't say we will need another squad. Because we can just set up this. Okay, and while the dreadnought covers him. Okay, Apollo has it a bit busy. Closer, you. Darkus, make it rain. Great oh, accommodation. Guns and plasma are doing work over there. <laughs> Cyrus is pitching in as well. Is there actually something that. Okay, we can't go behind there. Okay, Gaumi's actually got quite hurt from that. Yeah, holy. Okay. But our back is now one. Actually, yes, you can do your own dreadnought with that. Okay, just stomp through them, please. Actually, move over there for a moment, will you? You'd love to turn around. Cyrus is picking them off as well. And... Yep. <laughs> okay, it's not as impressive as Suo's, but still. Martellus, help out a sec. I should not have turned those Devastators around. Okay, this is getting a bit much. Okay, 
here. We, we, we need reinforcement. And yeah, yeah, the devastators. Need... Yeah, we need more devastators. Okay, Martellus, get the work on some repairs. Did it devastate the style we had earlier? Yep. Go repair your turrets. Where is Apollo? <laughs> There's Apollo. Level up? Okay. Actually, throw them some mines quickly. Dummies, Cyrus, back. Okay, those are quite powerful. Very powerful, and they okay. They they recharge on basically nothing. Blasphemy of the Mechanicus. I'll take that. Hello. What are your orders? Take your head. Moving. Can I put down multiple pairs? Hostile target eliminated. Ooh, uh, Martellus repairs. And yeah, we can put down multiple. Okay, good thing I noticed that it was quite damaged there. Okay. Then we can move on to the next part. Okay. Clear out the area. Everyone. Martellus, repair your dreadnoughts. We don't get a replacement. Okay. <laughs> this way then. And if I remember correctly, they will primarily come from here and over here. So park this thing there for a moment. Oh dear. What word? Okay. Cyrus. Yes, Commander. Get to work with the mines. Yes, Commander. Deploy. Mortellus. Repair your dreadnoughts. For chapter and emperor. Affirmative. I fear nothing, for I am fear incarnate. Like, what? Are there no other upgrade stations to be can increase the uh, population cap or anything? Nope. Okay. okay. Let's get that thing into position. I don't think many come from here. But still, Martellus, set up your turrets. Actually, set it up there. There, okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Dear. Oh, oh, come on, they dropped just directly on us there. All right, they also come from there. Okay, Cyrus, keep planting grenades. Actually, just keep just keep planting mines at your feet. Let's get rid of them as well. Oh dear. And plant some extra there. Yes, Commander. And just to be certain. Yes, Commander. Deploying. I will go over camping. Oh dear. 
a little bit. Oh. Okay, good thing that I put some grenades, not grenades, mines there, huh? Oh, are you sure that that must not be you? Nope. It, it looked like they're trying to screw the Tyranids. They killed them. The damn thing is not a joke. That were the mines. And that's going to be the mines again. Okay, that's that one dead. That should be most of them. Yep. And of course, another squad, another pack of them drops off, but that's enough. Okay. Time to get out of this <laughs> bug infested hellhole. Okay. Okay. Okay, one minute over there. <laughs> Final gift of the artificer for one last equipment piece. Okay. <clears throat> so I was a little behind on experience, but that's because he only officially joined after the first mission. Okay, let's see. Halley Bolter of the Ancient. Uh, uh, wait, wait, read, read that. Yeah, yeah, Holy Bolter of the Ancients. There That's we go, said. you said Heli. You said Heli. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see, a revered relic of the old Marines chapter, this Bolter accompanied dozens of Space Marines during Crusades of Absolution. Few can recall the weapon's complete history, but legends speak that Mark, uh, Marnius Kalgar himself carried it during his centuries as a tactical Marine. Okay. A lot of health and plus armor. So if if Tarkas was doing his job as a tank again, this would be perfect for him, but these are heavy weapons instead. Okay. Heavy flamer for the, for the Terminators or last cannon for the Predators? Last cannon. Yeah, okay. Last yeah, the, cannon. Yeah, the Terminators have already gotten more than enough love. But for now, as much as I would love to continue with this game, we need to call it a night. Yeah, uh, okay. need sleepy time. Okay, I'm not entirely sure how long it would take uh, next week to finish up the game, but if we finish early with it, I think we should probably call it early as well, so we don't uh, get too much of the other campaigns in the main week. But yeah, yeah. Uh, we could stop. It's only like to again depends on how early we finish it. Yeah. That's for now. Let's head on over here. I will leave the game open for the moment so I can see if I can clean up the campaigns a bit. And also, uh, let me close this off so I don't have to move everything over to my other screen. Okay. Switch. Yeah, before we go and end the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. So let me change over this. Go live. And let's see, we have quite a few people online. We have Dr. Misunderstood with Jakuza Like a Dragon. Life Wolf is playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. Swabe is playing retro games again. Jagged Alliance 2 to be specific. <clears throat> uh, Himasama Shiro is playing One Piece Odyssey. Okay, uh, I think that's the... I think I've heard of that one. I was tempted to buy it at one point, but I decided not to. Uh, and we have I'm Nice with Animal Crossing New Horizons still. Chubbis the Moon Seal with Dark Souls 2. Cordust is playing Pokemon Unite. Grim the Wolf is playing Skyrim. Slooptip is also playing Dark Souls, but three instead. And then we have Karenai with Anode Hearts. Can't say. Maybe I've heard of that before, but I'm not sure. And last but not least, we have Halloween playing Death Must Die. I, for a moment, I, th I read that as Orcs Must Die. Let's have a little peek here at the Node Hearts. And oh, they've been, been going good. for quite a while. <laughs> Holy. Let's see. 
from the preview that's being shown, it's a top-down pixel art game. Uh, can't see too much of gameplay itself. It's more of a social side of it at the moment. Hmm. Okay, not sure how long they may still be going for, though. Uh, hmm. Let's also take a look at this Death Must Die, what the hell that is. <clears throat> Another 2D top-down, but this is more clearly more of a fighter game. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, which of these would you uh, suggest? Good question. <laughs> or shall I take a pick? Uh, let it take a peek, but I am way too sleepy headed and there are way too many options. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at uh, Himisama Shiro then with uh, the One Piece Odyssey. I think this is supposed to be a, a different uh, story than from what is in the show and such. Or at least that's how I think it said in the description that I'd read at one point or another, but could be wrong. Either way, let's copy the name and head on over to our place. So, slash rate and paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you Sensei for the raid and anyone who came along with. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. <laughs> okay. Uh, no stream tomorrow, but in the weekend we will continue with our usual stuff. Uh, we will yeah, we'll continue with uh, Enslaved Odyssey to the West. And we could do that uh, stream... Uh, uh, actually, should we do that... Uh, the Sexy Brutale. We were thinking of doing a stream to look at all of the uh, lore and such. But should we do that on one of our usual times, or should we do that on a different time slot? Maybe a different time slot for... That one might be rather short, for all you know. Hmm. Uh, we could do it as a YouTube video as well, since, since I have no idea how long it might take. Probably less than an hour, actually. Hmm. Yeah, probably better as a YouTube video than a, a stream video. Yeah. No, that, is, that just means that we have uh, a whole day to decide what other side game we're going to do then. <clears throat> oh, true. We do have plenty of them to choose from. <laughs> true. But yeah, for now then, let's get that raid started. There we go. And yeah, uh, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. Sleep well and watch out for undead seagulls. And for Azariah Kairos. That too. Hehehehe. <laughs>